Have you ever gazed upon a star-studded sky, your mind brimming with questions about the vastness of the cosmos? From the smallest atom to the largest galaxy, the universe is an endless tapestry of mysteries. This innate human curiosity has fueled centuries of scientific exploration. Research is the pursuit of knowledge, a quest to answer intriguing questions. It is driven by curiosity, guided by logic, and fueled by uncovering hidden truths. Research touches every aspect of our lives, from medicine to technologies. It solves problems, advances understanding and reshapes our worldview. Throughout history, humanity has sought to understand the forces that govern the natural world. From the ancient Greeks who mapped the constellations to the modern-day physicists probing the subatomic realm, the quest for knowledge has been a constant thread weaving through civilizations. We observe, we question, we experiment, and through this process we slowly peel back the layers of complexity, revealing the elegant mechanisms that underpin our universe. The scientific method, with its emphasis on empirical evidence, logical reasoning and rigorous testing, has proven to be an invaluable tool in this journey of discovery. It provides a framework for asking meaningful questions, designing experiments to test hypotheses, and drawing conclusions based on data. While the methods and tools of research have evolved over time, the fundamental principles of observation, experimentation and analysis remain paramount. The impact of research extends far beyond the confines of laboratories and academic journals. It forms the bedrock of innovation, driving progress in fields as diverse as medicine, technology, agriculture and environmental science. The smartphones we use, the treatments that cure diseases and the sustainable practices that protect our planet are all products of countless hours of dedicated research. Consider the field of medicine, where research has led to the eradication of smallpox, the development of life-saving antibiotics and the advent of groundbreaking gene therapies. In the realm of technology, research has fueled the digital revolution, transforming the way we communicate, access information and interact with the world. From the invention of the internet to the development of artificial intelligence, research continues to push the boundaries of what is possible. Research is not merely a linear process, but an iterative journey of exploration. It begins with a spark of curiosity, a question that ignites the imagination. Delving into existing literature refines the research question. Armed with this knowledge, researchers develop a research plan. Section 5, Mastering Research Methods, Illuminating the Path to Understanding. Mastering the art of research requires not only a thirst for knowledge, but also a deep understanding of the tools and techniques that underpin the research process. From formulating research questions to designing experiments, collecting and analyzing data and drawing meaningful conclusions, each stage of the research journey demands careful planning, rigorous execution and a commitment to ethical practices. This comprehensive guide aims to equip aspiring researchers with the knowledge and skills necessary to navigate the complexities of the research process. Whether you are a student embarking on your first research project, a professional seeking to enhance your research skills, or simply a curious individual eager to delve into the world of research, this guide will provide you with a solid foundation in research methods, enabling you to embark on your own journey of discovery. Section 1. The Blueprint for Discovery. Unveiling the Research Proposal Imagine embarking on a journey without a map, a compass, or a clear destination in mind. You might wander aimlessly, unsure of your direction or purpose. Similarly, in the realm of research, a well-crafted research proposal serves as an essential roadmap, guiding researchers through the complexities of their chosen inquiry. It is a blueprint for discovery, outlining the research question, methodology, and anticipated outcomes of the study. The research proposal is not merely a formality, but rather a critical tool for ensuring that the research is well-defined, feasible, and ethically sound. It serves as a contract between the researcher and the funding agency, institution, or committee overseeing the research, 
outlining the scope of the study, the methods to be employed, and the expected deliverables. Section 2, Laying the Foundation, the Title and Introduction. The title of a research proposal should be concise, informative, and captivating, effectively conveying the essence of the research in a few well-chosen words. It should pique the reader's interest and provide a clear indication of the research topic. The introduction then expands upon the title, setting the stage for the research by providing context and background information. A compelling introduction should engage the reader by highlighting the significance of the research problem, outlining the current state of knowledge, and identifying any gaps or controversies in the existing literature. It should clearly articulate the research question or objective, stating the purpose of the study and the intended contribution to the field. Section 3. Charting the Course Research Questions and Hypotheses At the heart of every research proposal lie the research questions or hypotheses that will guide the investigation. Research questions are open-ended inquiries that seek to explore or describe a phenomenon, while hypotheses are testable statements that predict a relationship between variables. The nature of the research question or hypothesis will depend on the type of research being conducted, whether it is exploratory, descriptive, or explanatory. Clear and concise research questions or hypotheses are essential for providing direction to the study and ensuring that the research design is appropriate for addressing the intended objectives. They should be grounded in the existing literature and informed by a thorough understanding of the research problem. Section 4. Navigating the Terrain Methodology and Data Collection The methodology section of a research proposal outlines the research design, data collection methods, and data analysis techniques that will be used to answer the research questions or test the hypotheses. It provides a detailed roadmap for how the research will be conducted, ensuring transparency and replicability. The methodology section should describe the research approach, whether it is quantitative, qualitative or mixed methods, the study population or sample, the data collection instruments like surveys, interviews, or experiments, and the procedures for collecting and analyzing the data. It is important to justify the chosen methodology and to address any potential limitations or biases. Section 5. Bringing the Vision to Light timeline, budget, and ethical considerations. A well-structured research proposal should include a realistic timeline outlining the key milestones and deadlines for completing the research. This timeline helps to keep the research on track and ensures that the project is completed within a reasonable time frame. Additionally, the proposal should include a detailed budget outlining the costs associated with data collection, analysis, travel, and other research-related expenses. Finally, it is crucial to address ethical considerations in the research proposal. This may involve obtaining informed consent from participants, ensuring the confidentiality and anonymity of data, and minimizing any potential harm or risks to participants. Ethical considerations should be carefully considered throughout the research process from the initial design to the dissemination of findings. Section 1. Building a skill set for discovery, a hands-on approach to research. Imagine learning to play a musical instrument by simply reading about music theory without ever touching an instrument, or attempting to master a new language by memorizing grammar rules without ever engaging in conversation. While theoretical knowledge is essential, true mastery comes from hands-on experience, from putting knowledge into practice and developing the skills necessary to navigate real-world challenges. In the realm of research, a skill-building approach is paramount. Research is not a passive activity, but rather an active and iterative process that demands a diverse range of skills.
from critical thinking and problem solving to data analysis and communication. Developing these skills requires more than simply understanding the theoretical underpinnings of research methods. It necessitates active engagement, hands-on practice, and a willingness to learn from both successes and setbacks. Embracing the scientific method, a systematic approach to unlocking knowledge. The scientific method emphasizes empirical evidence, logical reasoning, and rigorous testing. It provides a systematic framework for research questions, ensuring findings are grounded in evidence. The steps may vary, but the principles remain constant. It begins with an observation or question. This leads to a hypothesis, a testable prediction. The hypothesis is tested and data are analyzed. Conclusions are drawn and new questions emerge. Section 3. Alternative Avenues of Inquiry. Exploring Diverse Research Perspectives. While the scientific method has proven to be an invaluable tool for advancing knowledge, it is not the only valid approach to research. Alternative research methodologies, often employed in social sciences, humanities, and other fields, offer diverse perspectives and approaches to understanding complex phenomena. These methodologies may emphasize subjective experiences, interpretations, and contextual factors that are not easily captured through traditional scientific methods. Qualitative research methods, such as interviews, focus groups, and ethnography, seek to gain an in-depth understanding of individuals' experiences, perspectives, and meanings. These methods often involve collecting rich narrative data that provide insights into the complexities of human behavior and social phenomena. Action research, another alternative approach, emphasizes collaboration between researchers and practitioners to address real-world problems and promote social change. Section 4. Case Study. Navigating the complexities of real-world research. Case studies provide a valuable opportunity to explore the application of research methods in real-world settings, illustrating both the challenges and rewards of conducting rigorous and meaningful research. Consider a hypothetical case study involving a team of researchers investigating the effectiveness of a new teaching method designed to improve student engagement and learning outcomes in science education. The research team might employ a mixed methods approach, combining quantitative data collection methods, such as pre- and post-tests to measure student learning, with qualitative methods, such as classroom observations and student interviews, to gain a deeper understanding of student experiences and perceptions of the new teaching method. By triangulating data from multiple sources, the researchers can develop a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of the effectiveness of the intervention. Section 5. Honing Your Research Skills – Practice, Patience, and the Pursuit of Precision Mastering research methods is an ongoing journey that requires practice, patience, and a commitment to precision. Like any skill, research skills are honed through repeated exposure, trial and error, and a willingness to learn from both successes and mistakes. Seek out opportunities to engage in research, whether through coursework, independent projects, or collaborations with faculty or mentors. Embrace the iterative nature of research, recognizing that the path to discovery is rarely linear. Be prepared to revise your research questions, refine your methodologies, and adapt your approach as you encounter new insights and challenges. And above all, cultivate a spirit of curiosity, a passion for knowledge, and an unwavering commitment to the pursuit of truth through rigorous and ethical research practices. Section 1. Navigating the Sea of Knowledge. Charting a course through the literature. Imagine embarking on a research journey without first consulting a map, a compass or a guide. You might wander aimlessly, duplicating efforts, or missing crucial landmarks. Similarly, in the realm of research, a critical literature review serves as an indispensable navigational tool, guiding researchers through the vast and ever-expanding sea of knowledge. 
the Critical Literature Review is not merely a summary of existing research, but rather a systematic and analytical examination of scholarly work relevant to a particular research question or topic. It involves identifying, evaluating, and synthesizing insights from a range of sources, including academic journals, books, conference proceedings, and reputable online databases. Section 2. Critical Evaluation – Separating the Wheat from the Chaff In today's digital age, we are inundated with information from a multitude of sources, some more reliable than others. A critical literature review demands discernment, the ability to distinguish credible sources from those that lack rigor or objectivity. Researchers must develop a discerning eye, evaluating the quality of research design, methodology, data analysis, and conclusions drawn. When evaluating research articles, consider factors such as the reputation of the journal or publisher, the credentials and expertise of the authors, the rigor of the research design, the appropriateness of the methodology, the validity and reliability of the data collection methods, the soundness of the data analysis, and the clarity and coherence of the conclusions. Be wary of studies with small sample sizes, inadequate control groups, or potential biases that may have influenced the results. Section 3. Synthesizing Insights, Weaving Together the Threads of Existing Research A critical literature review is not merely a collection of summaries, but rather a synthesis of existing knowledge a weaving together of insights from multiple sources to create a coherent and comprehensive understanding of the research topic. It involves identifying common themes, patterns and trends across studies, as well as highlighting areas of agreement and disagreement among researchers. Through careful analysis and synthesis, researchers can identify gaps in the existing literature, uncover unanswered questions, and refine their research questions or hypotheses based on a more nuanced understanding of the field. The literature review should not only highlight what is known but also illuminate areas where further research is needed. Section 4. Building a solid foundation. The literature review is a cornerstone. The Critical Literature Review provides a solid foundation upon which to build a research project. It ensures that the research is grounded in existing knowledge, avoids duplication of effort and builds upon, rather than replicates, previous work. By thoroughly understanding the existing literature, researchers can position their own research within the broader scholarly conversation. Moreover, the Literature Review helps to justify the need for the proposed research demonstrating the significance of the research question and the potential contributions to the field. It also informs the research design, guiding the selection of appropriate methodologies, data collection methods, and data analysis techniques. Section 5. From Literature Review to Research Design, Shaping Your Inquiry the Critical Literature Review is not a static document, but rather an evolving process that continues throughout the research journey. As researchers delve deeper into the literature and gain a more nuanced understanding of the field, they may refine their research questions, adjust their methodologies, or even uncover new avenues of inquiry. The insights gained from the Literature Review should inform and shape every stage of the research process from the formulation of research questions and hypotheses to the interpretation of findings and the dissemination of results. By embracing the iterative nature of research and remaining open to new insights, researchers can ensure that their work is both rigorous and relevant, contributing meaningfully to the advancement of knowledge. Sampling, unveiling the representative few, Imagine understanding the ocean by examining a single drop or grasping a rainforest by studying a single leaf. The sample we observe is often insufficient to represent the whole. In research, we rely on samples to draw inferences about larger populations. Section 2. Probability Sampling – Ensuring Every Voice is Heard 
Probability sampling methods are like a fair lottery, where every member of the population has an equal chance of being selected. This random selection process minimizes bias and increases the likelihood that the sample will be representative of the population. Probability sampling is particularly important when researchers aim to generalize their findings to a larger population with a high degree of confidence. One common probability sampling method is simple random sampling, where each member of the population has an equal and independent chance of being selected. Another method, stratified random sampling, involves dividing the population into subgroups, strata, based on shared characteristics and then randomly selecting participants from each stratum. This ensures representation from different subgroups within the population. Section 3, non-probability sampling, selecting participants with purpose. Non-probability sampling methods, unlike their probability-based counterparts, do not rely on random selection. Instead, participants are chosen based on specific criteria, such as their availability, willingness to participate, or their relevance to the research question. While non-probability sampling may not guarantee representativeness, it offers advantages in certain research contexts, particularly when studying hard-to-reach populations or exploring specific phenomena in depth. One common non-probability sampling method is convenience sampling, where participants are selected based on their ease of access or availability. Another method, purposive sampling, involves deliberately selecting participants who possess specific characteristics or experiences relevant to the research question. Snowball sampling, often used in studies of hidden populations, relies on referrals from initial participants to identify additional participants. Section 4, Navigating the Sampling Landscape, Choosing the Right Approach. The choice between probability and non-probability sampling depends on the research question, the goals of the study, and the resources available. Probability sampling is generally preferred when generalizability is paramount, while non-probability sampling is suitable when in-depth understanding or exploration of specific groups is desired. Researchers must carefully consider the trade-offs between different sampling methods, weighing the importance of representativeness against the feasibility and ethical considerations of each approach. Factors to consider include the size and accessibility of the population, the research budget and timeline, and the potential biases associated with different sampling techniques. Section 5, Case Study, Applying Sampling Methods in Education Research. Imagine a team of researchers investigating the impact of a new after-school program designed to improve reading comprehension among elementary school students. The researchers might employ a stratified random sampling method, dividing the student population into strata based on grade level and reading ability. This would ensure representation from different subgroups within the school, enhancing the generalizability of the findings. Alternatively, if the researchers were interested in exploring the experiences of students with learning disabilities who participated in the program, they might opt for a purposive sampling method, specifically recruiting students with documented learning disabilities. This approach would allow for a more in-depth understanding of the program's impact on this specific subgroup, providing valuable insights for program improvement and support services. The Art of Asking Unveiling Insights Through Interviews Imagine trying to understand the intricate workings of a clock by simply observing its external movements. You might glean some information about the passage of time, but the true mechanisms driving its precision would remain hidden. Similarly, in research, some phenomena cannot be fully grasped through observation or quantitative data alone. We need to delve deeper to understand the perspectives, experiences, and motivations that shape human behavior. This is where interviews, a cornerstone of qualitative research, prove invaluable. Interviews are like guided conversations, where researchers engage with participants to explore their thoughts, feelings, and experiences related to a particular topic. Unlike structured surveys, which rely on predetermined questions and response options, interviews allow for flexibility and depth. Researchers can probe for clarification, follow up on unexpected responses, and delve into the nuances of individual perspectives.
Questionnaires, like well-crafted nets cast into a sea of information, aim to capture specific data from a target population. But just as a poorly designed net might snag on reefs or let valuable catches slip through, a poorly constructed questionnaire can lead to inaccurate or incomplete data. Crafting effective questionnaires is both an art and a science, requiring careful consideration of wording, question types, and overall flow to elicit meaningful and unbiased responses. The first step in questionnaire design is to clearly define the research objectives and the information sought. Each question should align with these objectives, avoiding irrelevant or redundant queries. Wording is paramount, using clear, concise, and unambiguous language that is easily understood by the target audience. Avoid jargon, technical terms, or leading questions that might bias responses. Conducting surveys is akin to embarking on an expedition, venturing into the field to gather valuable data from a dispersed population. Just as explorers meticulously plan their routes, provisions, and communication strategies, researchers must carefully consider sampling methods, data collection procedures, and ethical considerations to ensure the success of their survey endeavors. The choice of survey method, whether online, paper-based, or face-to-face -face interviews, depends on factors such as the target population, the research budget, and the complexity of the questionnaire. Online surveys offer convenience and cost-effectiveness, while paper-based surveys may be more suitable for populations with limited internet access. Face-to-face -face interviews, though resource-intensive, allow for deeper engagement and probing for clarification. Section 4. Case Study – Exploring Consumer Preferences Through Surveys Imagine a team of market researchers tasked with understanding consumer preferences for a new line of athletic apparel. To gather comprehensive data, they might employ a mixed methods approach, combining surveys with focus groups. The survey, distributed online and through targeted social media campaigns, would aim to capture demographic information, brand awareness, purchase intentions, and preferences for various product features. Following the survey, the researchers would conduct focus groups with selected participants to delve deeper into their motivations, attitudes, and decision-making processes. These focus groups would provide rich, qualitative data, complementing the quantitative survey findings and offering a more nuanced understanding of consumer preferences. Section 5. From Data to Insights analyzing and interpreting survey results. Collecting survey data is only the first step in the research journey. The real magic happens when researchers delve into the data, sifting through responses to uncover patterns, trends, and insights that address the research questions. This process, known as data analysis, involves organizing, cleaning, and interpreting the collected information to extract meaningful conclusions. Quantitative data, such as responses to multiple choice questions or rating scales, can be analyzed using statistical software to calculate frequencies, percentages, averages, and correlations. Qualitative data, such as responses to open-ended questions, require careful coding and thematic analysis to identify recurring themes, patterns, and insights. By combining quantitative and qualitative findings, Researchers can develop a rich and nuanced understanding of the phenomena under investigation. Section 1. The Enduring Significance of Research Methods Research methods are essential in our world. They guide us toward understanding ourselves and the world. They equip us with critical thinking skills to evaluate evidence. They empower us to ask questions and seek evidence. A solid grasp of research methods is essential for navigating complexities. Section 2. Empowering informed decision-making. In a data-driven world, gathering, analyzing, and interpreting information is paramount. Research methods provide tools for informed decisions in health, finance, and more. In healthcare, evidence-based medicine revolutionizes patient care. Rigorous research leads to accurate diagnoses and effective treatments. 
Patients benefit from research literacy to understand and evaluate options. Research is crucial in education, business and public policy. Shaping a brighter future through research. Research drives progress and innovation. It transforms our world from life-saving vaccines to social justice. Renewable energy research develops sustainable alternatives. Scientists improve solar panels and harness wind energy. Social justice research addresses systemic inequalities. It provides evidence-based recommendations for policy changes. Section four, from the classroom to the world stage, the wide reach of research skills. Research skills extend beyond academia, equipping individuals with tools for success in various careers and life pursuits. Critical thinking, creative problem solving, effective communication and collaboration are essential in today's job market. Research skills empower individuals to evaluate information, engage in debate and advocate for change. These skills are valuable in academia, industry, government and the non-profit sector. Section 5, Continuing the Journey of Discovery. Research is not a destination, but an ongoing journey of discovery. The world is full of unanswered questions waiting to be explored. Embrace inquiry, cultivate knowledge, and never stop asking questions. The pursuit of knowledge is a lifelong endeavor. Let this guide serve you as you embark on your research journey.